MagSafe cases that can be dropped from 13 feet. Well, here you go. From gear four, here are two options for you. We have the Crystal Palace and the Rio. Uh, these are both snap cases. Uh, take a look here. This is from the, the Zag brand, so from the makers of uh, Invisible Shield, like phone uh, screen protectors, Morphe uh, Zag cases. Uh, they also make this gear four line of things. So this is for the uh, iPhone Pro, uh, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which you'll see right here. Uh, I got the blue one. So uh, the Pro 12, uh, the 12 Pro Max uh, is a MagSafe phone. So kind of need a MagSafe uh, case. So this is the uh, the Gear 4 option here. Nice big knockout for the uh, for the camera there. Now this one uh, is got a four meter, so about a 13 foot. Let me close this back up. So four meter drop. Uh, protection. It's compatible with the uh, Apple MagSafe system. So uh, there's that little thing right there. Uh, and also this one has anti-yellowing, which I don't know that they could ever be truly anti-yellowing. Maybe it will uh, just yellow slow, slowlier. Um, but uh, this one is pretty clear. Looks like it will stay clear for quite some time. So this contains RepelFlex. It's an antimicrobial agent uh, with properties built in to protect your case by inhibiting the growth of odor-causing bacteria and guarding against the degradation from microorganisms. So there you go, a couple uh, $10 words for you uh, there. So it's, um, I guess it's got something, it's got a finish that's gonna keep the bugs away from eating away at your phone and uh, smelling, I guess. So. That is the uh, Crystal Palace. This one is the Rio. Uh, this one, slim design. They, they both kind of tout a slim design. Both are made of recycled or contain recycled plastic. The boxes are not as forgiving here. So they both contain uh, D3, D3O. Uh, I guess that's the material it's made of. Um, and it is uh, apparently used in sports, motorcycles, uh, the industrial world. Uh, in the military, um, also on electronics. Not super familiar, but they're touting it on both boxes, so um, something to look into. So again, this is a 13 foot drop uh, rated, I guess, so to speak. Has the MagSafe slim design, also has the Repel Flex. So these look like uh, one in the same here with uh, just a design difference of one being black and one being clear. So, um, you know, it's kind of a toss up. They both have the ring for functionality. Do you want it to be visible? Do you want it to be uh, invisible? For me, because I decided to actually get a case or rather a phone that has a color, I think I'm gonna show off that color by going with the clear. So snaps on very easily. Uh, it is thin, yes, it's not, it's not super bulky. There you see kind of on that bezel edge there. Um, it's not very bulky, but the phone itself is kind of bulky. Um, that's just the iPhone 12 being the iPhone 12. So it is pretty form-fitting with the iPhone 12. Um, you'll see a little bit of a lip along the camera edge here. Um, I also do have a camera screen protector. Uh, one of the first things I put on, you've got three cameras, you wanna protect them. Buttons are a little harder to push. Uh, they don't, you don't feel the same um, kind of feedback. It's a little clunkier. There's a little bit of a delay. Not, I mean, not on the phone itself, but they're just, it's a little more of a, of a push you gotta give to it. Um, the uh, silent is kind of set back in there. You know, again, that's it's coming off the phone quite a bit. I don't know if you can see, but it's creating, I'm not good at, at distances, but it may be slim in this regard, but it is a little wider. Um, I think you could see there. It does give a little more uh, on the width side of things. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, in, in the pockets, it might be a little more difficult, but uh, that, uh, is to be seen as we continue to use it. So there's the MagSafe. Um, I was sent some MagSafe stuff and I will try the MagSafe stuff with this case and see how that all works. But case-wise, um, you know, it, it's kind of it creates, it makes the phone even bigger. The biggest phone that Apple's ever made is now bigger uh, with this case. This one is a little different as my news opens. Uh, this one's a little different. It has a little more of a Kind of a, um, I don't really know. It's not. This this is a little less slick, 
So this is a little little more slick. This is a it's not rubberized, but it's somewhere in between. This has a little bit of uh, resistance to it, a little bit of a um, kind of a rubberized feel, but it is not rubber. I actually like this one a lot better. I just don't like hiding the color uh, on the phone. And again, MagSafe in there, nice. Um, you know, you could see that the the phone the the camera is out a little bit, and that's why you do have the case. Um, but nice and snug, everything's easy to get to, and it may make the phone a little wider, but I think if in protection's sake, uh, that's a good thing for your phone to have a little bit more padding. So protected by D3O again, it's uh, branded there on both of them. Um, so I'm assuming that's a little more of a sturdy plastic um, or, or additive to it. So it's a firm case, can't really bend it. I think that's all helps with rigidity and uh, helps on the phone. So there, first look at the Gear 4 Rio, uh, which is the black one, and the Gear 4 Gris Crystal Palace, which is the uh, clear one there. These are cases for the iPhone 12 Pro Max.